God bless you. God bless you. Hello, you guys. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. For those who do not know, my name is D. Edwards, and I am anointed to push, pray, prophesy, and to teach leaders to profit in life and in business. I truly believe that you can be saved and paid at the same doggone time. So thank you guys so much for sharing out this broadcast. Go ahead and invite someone in because there's something that I want to share with you that is truly going to bless you. So go ahead and share out this broadcast. And if I have not said it to you guys, happy Thanksgiving. I'm very grateful for you all. So I'm going to ask that you press the share button and let me know who's live and who's watching. Hello, hello. Hey, Marquetta. God bless you. Hello, Miss Booker. Hey, Erica. God bless you guys so very much. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. So listen, you know, um, so there's some things that's going to absolutely happen in your life that is going to hurt like hell. There are some things that's going to make you cry. There are some things that you're not going to feel good about. There are some experiences that you're going to go through with people. Um, there are going to be folks that backstab you, that betray you, that talk about you. You have a picture in an image as to what is going to transpire in your life but you need to understand that there are some things that will not feel good to you that have to happen to you that is still the will of God. Lord have mercy. I'm going to go ahead and slow down real fast. What's up Nakia? Hey Aisha. What's up Danielle? Hey Tabitha. Hey Claudia. God bless you YouTube and Periscope. Listen let me tell you this today. Everything that is God ordained does not necessarily feel good. Stephen he was out they're preaching the gospel, yet he was beheaded. John the Baptist was, was killed by the very ones that he was trying to save and let them know that Jesus was on the way. It's the same people that needed Jesus that put him on the cross. And so you got to understand that there are some things that are purposeful that will hurt you, but it's still the will of God. You need to understand that every ache in your body, every pain in your mind, everything that you have experienced, you don't, you don't, you need to to understand that it's not all the devil. Some of the times God will allow you to experience some things because you are trusted as Job. Job, he was handpicked. He was the one that God said that you can try my servant because I know that his heart is pure towards me. So God gave the devil permission to put Job through a season of trials and tribulation. And every time that Job went through something, it seemed like it was one thing after another. It seemed like the very thing that he had gone through, uh, that it was going to kill him while he was in the middle of the process. Uh, he didn't know that after he passed this test, he didn't know that after he survived this, uh, that God was going to elevate him uh, and give him double for his trouble. Uh, after Jesus had fasted in the wilderness uh, for 40 days and 40 nights, uh, that's when he began to walk in his ministry uh, after he came after, out of the wilderness. Uh, and some of you guys need to understand uh, that what you are in, uh, it is called promotion. What you are in is called elevation. What you are feeling don't feel good to you, but it's necessary for your increase. Lord have mercy. Thank you guys for sharing this out. Listen, I'm telling you, it's necessary what you're going through. It's necessary what you are experiencing. This thing right here, it had to happen to you. Let me just testify real fast. So the other day, I got a business call. I got a business call from an old uh, supervisor of mine. And so after we got finished with, with the business call, he said, hold on, D, hold on, D. There's something that I need to tell you uh, that, uh, that have been weighing on me for many years. And I said, you know, what's going on? He said that I apologize because I didn't find fight hard enough to keep you on the job. I apologize because you, you should never been fired. And in that very moment, Alexis, I had a Joseph experience. I said, no, 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 no. It wasn't you that fired me. I had to be fired. What you didn't realize is that God used you to fire me. What it, what it appeared to be is that God used you to thrust me into the worst season of my life for elevation. Y'all don't understand that there are some things that I cried over. There were some things that I was bitter about uh, because I felt like when I got fired, uh, I felt like something was snatched away from me. But I didn't understand uh, that God had used that moment, uh, that he was going to use the tears. Uh, he was going to use my lack of money. Uh, he was going to use my inabilities. Uh, and he was going to bless me tremendously uh, because I was fired from my job. Watch this, y'all. Y'all don't understand. I said, oh, no, 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 no. You don't have to apologize. I said, listen, I had a whole jolt of moment. I said, 
relieve yourself from that guilt and from that shame because when you look at my life now you you ought to be happy because if you did not fire me lord have mercy if god did not harden your heart towards me then i would not be right here i didn't know that your no was really meaning yes for me i didn't know that god was pushing me out of my comfortable place to birth something new inside of me i didn't even know that i had these gifts i didn't know that i had these talents i didn't know that i can make this much money because i was so bound to my place of comfortability that god had to cause an uproar lord have mercy in my life to thrust me into a new role to thrust me into a new position and many of you are right now that you have been thrusted you are so busy trying to hold on to the things of old you're so busy with trying to hold on to old people that god had to literally thrust those things out of your life so that you can walk into your new season oh yeah i shared this broadcast out i'm telling you because some of you all have been crying some of you all have been upset about where you are today and you've been blaming other people it's been hard for you to forgive it's been hard for you to let go but listen let me tell you on today that god had to allow these things to happen to you because you are about to take off you are about to ascend from the ground level of your place of comfortability and you got to understand if that god is going to allow you to cry through it if god is gonna allow you to have pain through it you best believe that promotion is on the way you best believe that god is gonna increase you best believe that god is gonna bless you so hold on just a little while longer i know that thing hurt it don't make sense as to why this is happening to you right now at this age it don't make any sense as to why people treat you the way that they do it don't make any sense after you've been loyal you've been trustworthy you didn't gave your all you supported folks you stood behind them you didn't push them and it don't make sense as to why people are treating you like this it don't make sense why you living from paycheck to paycheck and you 30 something years old it don't make sense as to why you still trying to figure out your purpose in life and you're in your 40s it don't make no sense but i'm telling you now by the end of the year god is going to show you uh oh yeah yeah why you had to go through what you went through Woo! i'm telling you bj hart that god is about to make sense of everything that you have gone through. Miss Taylor, God is gonna make sense of it, Miss Strain. God is gonna make sense of it. He's gonna make sense of it, Shonda. It don't feel good. And what God has called us to do, y'all, it don't necessarily feel good, Tierra. It don't feel good, Chandra. It hurt like hell. But oftentimes, the worst pain that you feel mean that there is even a bigger blessing on the other side of it. That's why you gotta keep pressing. That's why you gotta keep moving. That's why you to keep going in closer to God. This is your time to draw nigh unto him and God is going to draw closer unto you. This is the time that you got to press for another level in God so that you can keep your sanity, so you can keep your peace, so that you will not miss the voice of God. Oh Lord have mercy. Listen, the scripture said not to worry about anything, but by prayer and supplication, make your request known before God. And so you don't have to worry about your next move. You don't have to worry about how things are going to get taken care of. You're not going to have to worry about your life. Keep pressing into God because as you press into God, God is going to give you answers. As you press into God, he's going to give you solutions. As you press into God, you're going to see God make a way out of nowhere, y'all. Thank you for sharing this out. You're going to see God make a way out of nowhere. Listen, when we when I got fired from my job, you know, we were trying to figure out what we were going to do. And I didn't even know that God already had things worked out. Y'all from um, the state of Alabama, they had a program that would pay your mortgage for an entire year. That was a grant and we didn't have to uh, worry about paying it back. So God, he took care of the mortgage. I had favor uh, during that time with the Cardinal people. Uh, uh, I was in the last group of people that got extended unemployment. So we we had unemployment for about a year. I'm, I'm telling you, um, our kids were able to get on all kids. Like, listen, we learned during the times that we needed. We tapped into the resources that was around us. 
And so I didn't know that God was trying at the time to lighten our load so that we can focus on the promotion that was ahead. And I'm telling you that God is making a way for you right now. He's lighting your load right now. And I need you to be mindful. I need you to be aware that God is actually lighting your load right now so that you can be prepared, so that you can see the increase that is in hand. I'm telling you, you're about to see the hand of God like never before. I know this thing hurt like hell. I know you can't make sense of it. I know that it doesn't feel good to you whatsoever. I know that you got tons of questions. I know that you're asking God, why me? I know you're what you're wondering uh, why you can do the same thing that everybody else is doing, but it seemed like they're experiencing growth. It seemed like they're experiencing breakthrough. It, it seemed like things are working out for their favor. So yeah, so yeah, you got a lot of questions because you know that you've been faithful to God. You feel like you don't deserve what happened to you. Listen. I feel you on all of that. Let me tell you, I feel you on all of that. Because at the time, I didn't understand why I had to experience what I experienced. But it was setting me up for total breakthrough. Total breakthrough. Total, total breakthrough. Uh, and I'm telling you, your, your tears... Your pain is going to drive you right into your passion. Your pain is going to help you uh, see your purpose and what God have called you to. So I know you don't want it, shawty. I know you don't want to feel like that. I know you don't, because I didn't either. But I just want to let you know today that all things work together for the good of those who love the Lord and called according to his purpose. I'm telling you that it's all going to make sense after a while. And what you have to realize is that the pain that you are experiencing, this thing is temporary. The enemy wants you to feel like this is permanent. The enemy wants you to feel like this is how your life is always going to be. The enemy wants you to feel as if you'll be alone. Uh, the enemy wants you to feel like you can't trust nobody. The enemy wants you to feel like no, uh, nobody will stand with you or you don't have nobody to lean on. The enemy wants you to feel like you'll always have bad credit or you'll always be living from paycheck to paycheck. The enemy wants you to feel as if you'll always be renting or living in the projects. Listen, the enemy wants you to feel like you'll always have mechanical issues with your car. That the enemy wants you to feel like you always have issues with your kids. The enemy wants you to feel like you, 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 you're worthless and there is no use for your life. Kuman Shata, run out of my soko. Yeah, the enemy is the one that's telling you to kill off your birthright. The enemy is trying to tell you to commit suicide. The enemy is trying to tell you to overdose. The enemy is trying to tell you that you are nothing. And every time that the enemy tell you that you are nothing, baby, you got to learn how to stand up in God. And you got to learn how to rise up uh, and you got to know that the only reason that he's trying to make you feel like that uh, is because of what God has placed inside of you. Uh, oh yeah, let the lion uh, begin to roar uh, over every negative word. Uh, let the lion in you, uh, let the tribe of Judah begin to rise up inside of you. Uh, every time that the enemy tell you uh, that you are worthless, uh, that you're invaluable, uh, let God arise uh, and let every enemy be scattered. Uh, woo! In the name of Jesus, God, Woo. let God arise, let God arise, and let every enemy be scattered. In the name of Jesus, let God come up in your life. Let God speak for you. Let God be your voice. In the name of Jesus, it's time for you to arise. Oh, I awaken the lion in you. I awaken the tribe of Judah in you. Uh, open up your mouth uh, and not just make a noise, uh, but open up your mouth uh, and begin to allow a sound. Uh, woo! And it began to flow. Uh, oh my God. Listen, before you speak another word over your situation, you better open up your mouth and put a tongue on it. You better open up your mouth and begin to speak in an unknown language. Before I speak negative over my children, before I speak negative over my favor, before I speak negative over my finances, because I don't know what God is doing. I will let out a shankanara basoko, randara basikiara, papa basoko mandaya. Oh, I will speak. I would speak to my father about my issues. Hey, God, I bless you. 
I bless you, Kandi Arabashaka. Yeman Sukuman Arabahai and Anderubu Shaka. Hanman Sierra Bahai. Oh God, I bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Yaraman Sia. I'm telling you, sometimes when you are discouraged, Sometimes you got to just begin to walk around and you begin to thank God for everything. I'm talking about you find a reason to thank God. God, I thank you for my hands. I thank you for my legs. God, I thank you for my arms. God, I thank you for my fingers. God, I thank you for my mind. I thank you for my lips. I thank you for my eyes. I thank you for my ears. I thank you for my bounce back. I thank you for my victory. I thank you for my future. I thank you for my joy. I thank you for my peace. I thank you for my wealth. I thank you for my business. Sometime I just began to thank God. Hey, 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 hey. I began, listen, who thank you, Father? I began to thank God for what I don't have. Yeah, because if I'm in chaos, I began to thank God for my peace. If I'm broke, I began to thank God for my wealth. Yeah, yeah, I don't focus, Lord have mercy. I don't focus on a hard thing. I focus on King Jesus. Yeah. I don't focus on the hard thing. I focus on what I heard God say. I focus on who God said that I am. I focus, I focus, I focus on my future, not on my present. I want to allow my present circumstances to make me feel bound because God said that I've come to give you a future and a hope. God said that I'm bringing you into an expected end. Yes, I'm coming into my expected end. Yes, God, I'm coming into my expected end in the name of Jesus. Yeah, I bless you. I bless you, God. So I'm telling you, this thing may seem difficult today, but use my own testimony. Lord have mercy. Oh, use my own testimony as to the power and what God can do because he's not a man of favoritism. He's not a man that shall lie. And everything that God has spoken concerning your life, it surely will come to pass. God bless you on today. Thank you guys so much for sharing the broadcast. Thank you for the hearts. Thank you for the stars that you're sowing. Thank you for the seeds. Thank you so much for just trusting um, the message that God has placed in my belly for his people. God bless you on today. I I pray that you are encouraged. I pray that this help you. I pray that this just, just give you another leap. Yes, I just, sometimes I just began to just leap. I began to leap. I began to just, just jump sometime. I began to leap over things. Just like, thank you, Father. Just like when they are, when they're getting married, <laughs> they lay out a broom because they are jumping or they are leaping into their future together. And so there's some times where chaos may be going on around me and I just began to leap over it. That's sometimes when I don't feel good in my body, I just began to leap over it. When I feel that I'm all by my myself. Uh, sometimes I began to leap even over my own thoughts. Lord have mercy. Uh, and so sometimes when you see people that's just jumping, uh, you need to understand that they are leaping uh, over what tried to destroy them. Hey, I'm leaping over the very thing that tried to destroy me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, I'm trying to leap over the things that the enemy has spoken. Every time that he told me that I'm not a good mother, I just began to leap over it. Every time the enemy tell me that I'm not smart enough, I began to leap over it. Every time he tell me that I'm not a good wife, I began to leap over it. Every time that he said that my business won't grow, I began to leap over that. Because I'm telling you that I'm leaping and I'm stepping over into my takeoff season. I'm leaping and I am going to jump over into my future. I'm coming out of this. Listen, I'm leaping over this confusion right here. Huh? Yeah, yeah, I'm leaping over this. Y'all going to see me? I'm be gone because I'm leaping. I'm not staying here. I'm not staying here. So I don't know. I feel this in my spirit. I don't even know if you're sitting down right now. But I want to prophetically give you instructions to begin to get up. I want you to get up from out of your bed. I want you to get up off of the couch. I don't care if you are at work right now, if you're driving the car, pull over, because I'm about to give you prophetic instructions that is going to cause a turning. Lord have mercy. Yes, Lord. And so you need to get prepared. Get prepared because we are about to 
leap together. This is a prophetic movement uh, that we are about to leap together. We're leaping into our future. We're leaping into our new. Uh, we're leaping in the name of Jesus. So I'm going to count to three. Uh, and I want you to get up. You need to call your children, call your spouse, whatever. And you better get up and begin to leap now. Get up and just leap. I'm leaping. I'm leaping into my future. I'm leaping into my breakthrough. I'm leaping. I'm jumping. I'm hopping. I'm moving into a new place. Yes. Yes. I'm going to keep leaping into something shift. I'm going to keep leaping into something move. I'm going to keep leaping into something breaks. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm leaping. <laughs> Woo. I'm leaping into my new. destroy your mind but I just thank God for his word oh God I thank God for his word God bless you God bless you God bless you I'm telling you I'm telling you the enemy gonna try to come and take this word I'm telling you you're gonna you may be attacked the enemy may try to take your focus today but don't you dare respond we ain't got time for that we can just gonna jump somebody get on your nerves too <laughs> they gonna see me too, 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 too. I'm gonna bust out in the leap anyway in the store. Oh, that cashier. Too, too. <laughs> I, I'm just gonna leap, 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 leap all day. <laughs> they be like that girl is crazy. Yep, because I'm leaping into something that some people don't even understand. I'm leaping into something that some people don't even see. I'm leaping for me. Yeah. This leap for me. Hey, hey, this leap for me, <laughs> this leap for me, this leap for me, oh, this leap for me, Lord have mercy, Woo! hallelujah, Woo, God bless you, have a fantastic day, God bless you, I love you guys so much, thank you so much for sharing it out, thank you for the likes, the comments, the heart, the, the stars, thank you for sewing. God bless you guys. I love you. Thank you, Jesus.